Hi, this is Malishwari. Welcome to our channel Chemistry with Malishwari. Today our topic is Pauli's Exclusion Principle. Let us see what is Pauli's Exclusive Principle. So, last class law, our go principle, Hume's rule complete type in the. So, that is about how the arrangement of electrons takes place into the orbitals. Okay, orbitals lo ki electrons ela arrange hota hi, ane daan basis ko ni. So, three important principles anche pen. So, that is first one, our go principle. Second one, Hume's rule. And third one, Pauli's exclusion principle. Okay. See what is Pauli's exclusion principle? What this principle tells about the arrangement of electrons? Okay, let us see Pauli's exclusion principle. What is the statement of Pauli's exclusion principle? Now see this principle states that Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons of no two electrons of an atom can have same set of all four quantum numbers all four quantum numbers okay so, Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons can have same set of all four quantum numbers. Okay, atom lo unna, ye vayna two electrons, four quantum number values ni same ga kaligi undavu. Means, four quantum number values are not same. They are differ. It means, they have three same quantum number values, but it may be differed by at least one quantum number value. And the atom lo unna ye two electrons ki kuda four quantum number values same ayon dago. And the any three values same ayna par ki kuda one quantum number value must be differed. Okay, so this uh, this is the statement of Pauli's exclusion principle. Understand? So Pauli's exclusive principle states that. No two electrons can have. So, no two electrons of an atom can have same set of all four quantum numbers. So, the meaning of this is any two electrons of an atom does not have all four same quantum number values. It may be differ at least one quantum number value. And take more quantum number values same in a koda. They may be differed by at least one. And then, ye do work a quantum number value aina sare differ out on the. Okay, let us take an example. So, an example is consider K shell. So, K shell have only two electrons that is S orbital. So, first 1S orbital, consider 1S orbital. It has two electrons. Now see the four quantum number values for these two electrons. Okay. Now see the first electron of K and second electron of K shell. Okay. Now see the four different quantum number values. Here the quantum numbers are N that is principal quantum number. N that is azimuthal quantum number. M that is magnetic quantum number and S is the spin quantum number values. Okay. Now see these four quantum number values for these two electrons. Okay. So consider this is K shape means that is 1s. So 1s2, 1s2, two electrons from 1s orbital. Okay. So consider the first electron from 1s. Here, the principal quantum number of 1s is 1, which is the shell number. Here, the first shell or K shell. Okay, we can give the n value for first electron is 1, because it is from first shell. See, the L value means azimuthal quantum number value. Here, azimuthal quantum number value is nothing but yes. Here, the azimuthal quantum number is yes. Okay, what is L here? 
so if l equal to s so l equal to n minus 1 that is the l value l means n minus 1 here what is the n value that is 1 and also we know s so s equal to 0 p equal to 1 d equal to 2 and f equal to 3 okay these are the azimuthal quantum number values okay this is s orbital so that's why we, we can take here 0 and come to magnetic quantum number value of this electron okay so magnetic quantum number values are started from so magnetic quantum number values from m equal to minus l to plus l through 0 means through 0 so these are the m values so these are the m values here means what is l here l equal to 0 so we can take m values minus 0 0 plus 0 so anything 0 a 0 aina sare manam 0 gaane this kundal kabati m is also 0 then what is s so s is spin quantum number so what is the electron spin here this is in a clockwise direction so this electron is in a clockwise direction so if any electron is in clockwise direction we can give the value that is plus 1 by 2 that is plus half so these are the four quantum number values for first electron now see the second electron from 1s2 so 1s2 lo unna second electron quantum number values ippudu chuddam so what is n value same 1s shell lo undi kabatti n equal to 1 first shell okay then yes so two electrons are present in s orbital so l equal to s then we have to give the value 0 then what is m here m for second electron so again m values are minus l to plus l through 0 so l is 0 then we can give 0 is only the value of m here so, L0 on the Kavati, magnetic quantum number value is also 0. Then, what about the spin quantum number value for this electron? So, spin quantum number value NT, this is in anti-clockwise direction. So, the spin of the second electron is in anti-clockwise direction. So, we have to give minus 1 by 2. Okay, so these are the values of Principal, azimuthal, magnetic and, and spin quantum number values for these two electrons. Okay, here the N, L, M are the same for both the electrons. So, first electron and second electron, N will have 1 and L have 0 and M have also 0. So, M also have 0. But, they differ only the spin quantum number. So, one electron is in clockwise manner and other electron is in anti-clockwise manner. This is the example for Pauli's exclusion principle. Okay, now see second example for Pauli's exclusion principle. The second example is the electrons from 2p. So, two electrons from 2p orbital. See, the box method also... Okay, so the two electrons can be arranged like this according to Hund's rule of maximum multiplicity. What is Hund's rule? Hund's rule states that electron pairing cannot take place until each subshell can have at least a single electron. So, one subshell lo, one electron nindi na tarvata matre me one compulsory ga apur electron pairing che yalle. So, ikara fill a valer kaavatu we can arrange these two electrons into these two orbitals. So, this is px, py and pz orbital means p orbital have three orientations according to magnetic quantum number. So, three orientations are px, py and pz. Okay, now see what are the quantum number values for these two electrons. So, first electron of 2p, second electron of 2p. Okay, see the all four quantum number values. So, 
principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number. Okay. So see the first electron. So which shell is this? The shell number is 2. So that is the principal quantum number. Okay. So n value is 2 here. Second shell. Okay. And L. Azimuthal quantum number. So L equal to azimuthal quantum number. So azimuthal quantum number means which orbital this is p orbital. So if L equal to S equal to 0, P equal to 1, D equal to 2 and F equal to 3 as we know from azimuthal quantum number. Okay. So this is P orbital. So we have to take here 1. And what is M values? And also we know M equal to minus L2 plus L through 0. So here L equal to 1. L equal to 1. So minus 1, 0, plus 1 here. That we have to take here. For first electron. So for first electron, L equal to 1. So minus L, 0, plus L. So minus 1, 0, plus 1. Here, the electron is present in Px orbital. So, that's why we have to take the minus 1 value. So, the electron is present in Px. So, that's why we have to take here minus 1 value. And so, that is the magnetic quantum number. And see the spin quantum number. What is the spin of electron here? That is in clockwise direction. So, the first electron from 2p to r in clockwise direction. So, we will give the plus 1 by 2 here. So, these are the quantum number values for first electron. Okay. See, second electron. Okay. This one. So, here. Here, the second electron is also present in second shell. So, principal quantum number value is 2. And L, azimuthal quantum number. So, what is the orbital here? P orbital. So, P orbital will have the 1. The value of P orbital is 1. Okay. Consider magnetic quantum number value for this electron. So, L equal to 1. Then, the values of M is minus 1, 0, plus 1 again. Here, the electron is present in P, Y orbital. The electron is present in P, Y orbital. So, we can take here. This is P, X, P, Y and P, Z. Okay. So, P, Y is 0. According to magnetic quantum number, the M values are from minus L to plus L through 0 or null. Okay. Here, L is 1 for second electron. So, minus 1, 0, plus 1. So, here... Electron is present in PY orbital. So that's why here the value of M is 0. Okay. Now the second electron spin is, the spin of second electron is again clockwise direction. So we will give plus 1 by 2. When we see this example, principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number and spin quantum number values are same. But... Those two electrons are differ in magnetic quantum number only. So, those two electrons are differ in magnetic quantum number only. Okay. So, this is about Pauli's exclusion principle. Okay. So, uh, Avbo principle, Hund's rule and Pauli's exclusion principle are used to explain how the arrangement of electrons takes place in two orbitals. Okay. So, this is the Pauli's exclusion principle. I hope you understand.